Well, Paul, congratulations. Promoted with Derby County to the Championship. Your reaction? Uh, relief, uh, I think is fair to say. We put ourselves in a really good position and like, you know, as for the players and the staff and, and probably for the fans, you go to bed last night thinking, dare, dare I dream that it will, you know, take the route that we all want. Uh, so the fact that we got there, uh, yeah, relief really. Uh, that's my and, and and pride of like how well the players have done and you know how hard it is in certain games. Like not every game you can turn up and just smoke people four nil. Some really tough games this year, and the lads have really hung in there. And I you know credit them for their character. It's their character that wins games at times. So yeah, uh, relief and pride really. And obviously David brought me and my team in, which probably wasn't a trendy option to a lot. Uh, and let us try and build a culture that we want to be part of uh, and change things a little bit and um, so for someone to give you that much responsibility of their club uh, to be able to pay it back to him means a lot to me so I, I feel pride with the group with my staff with everyone who's helped uh, I feel really pleased for David uh, and I know there's another I don't know however many worldwide but say there was 33,000 fans in the um, uh, in the ground today I just had to look at David's face after the game to know how pleased he was so yeah they're my overall emotions really You clinched it in style with the victory over Carlisle you finished with a win yeah. you know what I mean um, and Max Bird back in the side you spoke wonderfully about him at the awards on Tuesday his last game for the club his 200th appearance and he scored a, a goal worthy of clinching promotion yeah, really pleased for Birdie. Look, I, I said at the uh, at the presentation, do what he meant to me. He's a beautiful human, lovely, lovely kid. Like, so wants to do well. And you know, since I've been here, there's always been rumours of, of certain players going. And you know, with a heavy heart, I knew that he was going to play his football somewhere else in the summer. Um, and I think you know, he's, it sounds awful, but when you've done so long at a club, sometimes you need to. You know, open your wings and fly. Really, it sounds a bit cheesy, but I, I do think that to a certain extent. I mean, if Cash is listening, then that's not the case. But uh, you get my point. But so it was a hard decision because tomo has been doing really well. We just thought Birdie trained really well, looked excellent, and he is an excellent footballer. There's no dispute in that. I just thought that he would give us more of a goal threat. So I'm, I am a pretty emotional guy, as when you interview the players, I'll probably tell you. But uh, I did have a sort of a weep inside when Birdie scored. I was so pleased for him. Um, I know how much it means to him and I know how much it means to him to send off from this club with something great. So, yeah, I was pretty touched when he scored. I was desperately trying to get his attention, but he just eggy boffed me off. So, um, so I, I didn't enjoy it with him. But, um, you know, when he came off the pitch, I told him how proud I was of him and what a great guy he is. So, yes, I love fitting end in 200 games, a great goal uh, in a game and justified my decision, which makes me look great. So there's, there's no losers, is there? No losers. Absolutely not. Um, still felt a little edgy at 1-0, especially edgy. with results elsewhere. But from, yeah, from the second goal edgy. onwards, did you feel it was job done? Yeah, well, uh, yeah, I, I thought, weirdly, we'd score too early. I know it's a bit crazy, but the place was bouncing to start with. We went 1-0 up, uh, and I understand that everyone's singing that we're going up, and I'm thinking, Ooh, looking at the clock, there's about 86 minutes left. And then uh, Bolton started scoring and then you, you could sense that, I mean, it felt like, and this is the nicest way I can put it, and it's difficult, like, you know, pressure hits people in different ways, but it was like the lads played the occasion, not the game. So just keep the game simple. Do your job. Don't overthink things. Don't oversee things. And it felt like, um, you know, the more we tried to find a simple pass, the harder it was. We didn't play with any flow first half. We didn't ever get in behind and we played in front of them too many square passes in the middle of the pitch that we lost we were too deep uh, and it gave Carlisle thinking excuse me um, it gave Carlisle a, a grab of the game with set pieces and that and we defended well by the way but another day it could hit someone drop there and they put it in and the game changes so we come in at half time just trying to reassure the lads look you need to be a bit brave with your line like, I think our best performances this year when we're playing on the edge a bit I like us playing on the edge taking risk because if we don't and we play soft that was the first half in my opinion but I thought we played a lot better second half played in behind a bit more to stretch the game that way our line was better more aggressive and in the end we were handsome weren't we I, I didn't feel under any threat second half and I thought the second and third goal would come and like that chance right at the start of the second half that Nat put across to Colo 
If that would have gone in, that would have been better for my blood pressure. And while all that was happening, uh, I got news that Peterborough had scored one, so I allowed myself to you know, breathe because I'd been holding my breath for about 70 minutes, so, uh, so that was good. Over this closing stage of the season, you've been the best team in League One. How pleased are you that when the pressure's been on, your side have, have really stepped forward? Yeah, uh, yeah, thanks. They've been great. Um, I mean, I expect them to be great and I want them to be great. But if we won like nine out of 11 or something, is that right? Have I made that up? Someone said to me we won eight out of 10, which surprised me. And I know we've been in the top two for ages. And uh, sometimes you're in the top two because you're playing well and you're winning. Sometimes you're in the top two because the other teams can't get you. But in fairness, Bolton and Peterborough have been on really good runs. And to get out of the playoffs uh, is a right boost. Um, and I think, and I hate to say it, but it's the truth. If we'd have dropped into the playoffs, we had no chance. I wouldn't have said that to the dressing room. I wouldn't have said that to you. I might have off thingy. But psychologically, when you've been in the top two for as long as we have, and then to just go into the playoffs on goal difference is a psychological whammy. And that was my fear when I got up today, selfishly, that I knew it was me who was in charge of picking everyone up next week, the staff, the cooks, the you know, kit men, the players, everybody saying, no, 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 we're still in this. We're in the playoffs. What a... But, you know, it's like, you know a smile of a clown at times so I knew the difficulty of that so um, yeah so for us to, to, to stay up there and it felt like the big games for me was the last big game was Portsmouth really our running was kind you know the fixtures couldn't have ended any better on paper um, so I always I was always confident that we'd, we'd get over the line but you always uh, as a football manager because everyone knows better than me, uh, you have this edge of catastrophizing that is like oh no if that happens that that that, that. So, yeah, so that's hence why I am not covered in alcohol, not, I'm just so pleased for everybody who wanted it. All the fans who turned up can have a great weekend. It's a pity it weren't May Day, isn't it? Then your hangover could last a bit longer. Uh, so, yeah, just, just relief and just, because I know the bad times, recent times here, it's nice that our team has made a bit of history. Um, so, yeah, really proud. You have made a bit of history. The, the list of Derby managers who have won promotion isn't very long. Your name is added to it. Do you think the many achievements that, that you've had this season, the away wins, the points record, most victories in a single season for Derby, do you, do you think all these things will sink in over the next few days and, and your sense of accomplishment, you and your team? Yeah, well, hmm. I don't know. We're not really accomplished chasers. We do want success and we, you know, we, we're... we're you know, my coaches are brilliant. Rich does so much work, as does Hammy, as does Andy. So from the coach's point of view, but it's everybody, the physios and everything. But it, it is hard to win games. It is hard to be elite. It is hard to get promotion. It doesn't matter how good your team is. It's hard. You just have to look at the other leagues now, like how, how much the top of the champ has tightened up, how much the top of the Premier League. Winning games is difficult. I'm really proud of the group. I am. I'm amazingly proud of them. And it's nice to win it at home. Um, but I can't say that, you know, I'll go home and think, oh, you know, we've done this. I, I'm still a little bit disappointed we didn't get the title because if I look, oh, yeah, I know. But 92 points, we aimed for that at the start of the season. I said to the lads, if you get that, you're up. So I haven't lied to them. But, um, yeah, I'm just, yeah, pleased. Uh, but not like, I'm not driving home thinking like, you know, they're going to change the name of this road between here and Nottingham to something else. I'm not that guy. Uh, I just feel pleased that, like, I think we're quite normal people. We're not like, you know, I didn't see all my staff going mental. We're like quite, we've been like that all year. We haven't been too high, too low. We've been quite down the middle. So it's a, it's a, it's an honour to manage this football club, to get it promoted. I wish my dad was here to see it. Um, but, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'll take away. Just the, the feeling of pride. I'm not bothered about... You know, I won't take a medal home. I won't, you know. Uh, I just got a photo with just me and my coaches in front behind the trophy, which will go up in our office uh, for next season. Spoke to your mum yet? No, uh, she'll be an emotional wreck. I did see my brother and my son in the tunnel after the game, and I hate to admit it, my initial reaction wasn't, whoa, we've done it. It was like, what the hell are you doing here? How'd you get down here? And then he said, oh, I, I came, came down with Phil, which is Hammy's dad, who's reckless, by the way. He can get in where water can't. So I'll go and see my family now and uh, it'd be nice to see my wife and obviously my kids are here, some of my best friends. So, um, yeah, it'd be nice. Congratulations, Paul, and thank you.